It is 1.43 p.m. on the 20th. Can you give me the status as of this point? We continue our search efforts for the overdue voters, but we have not found any debris, the vessel, or any uh, any of that um, in the search. So there has been no no uncovering of uh, the vessel in our search. Is that unusual? Uh, it is unusual. Uh, you know, there's um, there's no norm. Uh, you know, we would expect to find some debris, but there is there are always unique situations, and um, you know, so we continue to um, work on the possibility they they might still be out there floating in the boat. And we all know that that's a big lake too. So um, it is. Right. So um, tell me where you're concentrating your searches now and maybe even get into what people might see with this pattern, that the computer pattern. Well, we've really saturated the area from the tip of the Kiwana Peninsula. Um, if you drew a line south and over, uh, that whole area contained within there, we have really saturated that area with all of our search assets. So we have begun expanding out further into Lake Superior, um, heading over to the east, northeast, and a little bit to the north to uh, cover more of that open lake area out there and, and see if we can find anything um, of the vessel or any debris out in that area. And the significance of that computer patterns? It's a model that takes many factors, the currents, the sea conditions, the winds, how much time has elapsed since we believe they got into trouble, and it takes that information and it says, well, based on that information, now we're at, you know, whatever time, the object you're looking for is most likely going to be in any of these, you know, in this area. And that way, when we send our helicopters and our larger fixed-wing aircraft and our boats out there, we can cover those areas where the object might most likely drifted. I want people to understand how large this is. Could you explain the assets and then actually mention each asset, if you can, and what they're bringing to force? We have small boats from Coast Guard Station Portage and Marquette. Portage's boat is a 47-foot motor lifeboat. Marquette's boat is a 45-foot response boat. Then we have the Coast Guard Cutter Biscayne Bay, which is a 140-foot ice-breaking tug out of St. Ignace. Next, we have a um, the helicopters, the HH-65 helicopters out of Air Stations Detroit and Traverse City. We have the C-130 out of Elizabeth City, North Carolina, and that has the robust sensor package to help us with that nighttime searching in particular. Um, we have Cape Cod's HC-144 fixed-wing aircraft, also um, really capable um, sensor package. We have RCC Trenton um, from Canada, the, their C-130, and um, those are the, the assets we have um, involved in this search. I think people have been impressed with how much effort you guys are putting into this. Mm -hmm. I, you know, we have really covered a lot of water. Um, we're, right now we're at about 14,000 square nautical miles of water and searched a uh, total over 140 hours, um, you know, with the various assets. So we have covered a lot of um, the Lake Superior waters in that area. And... Um what what do you want the people to know? I'm I'm guessing part of it is nothing's too small, but just explain what you want people to do. We continue to urge the public to let us know, you know, even if they they think it's been a while, if they if they did have any information of seeing um, this boat out fishing on Saturday, even if they think it's a small detail, um, please let us know. If you find any debris washed up on shore that you think might be involved um, with this incident, uh, you know, please let us know that. You know, even if it seems like something small, it could really help our search effort. And at this point, you're still calling it a search, obviously. How, are you going to search overnight again, and what's what's the latest on that? Yep, we, uh, we have plans to search throughout the day today and through the night, and tomorrow morning we will reevaluate. Okay, is there anything I haven't asked you that I should? 
Um, no, oh, you, we appreciate, you know, our partners, all of the local efforts, you know, as I said before, our Canadian partners, um, and, you know, just uh, anybody that, uh, many of the public that have called in with information, we really extend our appreciation and um, hope that you continue to provide information if you receive it.